from former gang member to one of the world's most revered artists. Homewood native Steve Skipper is one of the elite artists commissioned to do a portrait for the British royal family. He's this week's Alabama champion, now focused on helping troubled youth. Steve Skipper, raised in the Rosedale section of Homewood, knew lean times as well as temptations. Entered into a gang at age 13 and notorious gang and uh, a whole lot of you know, bad stuff involved in that. Then he met a pastor who presented him with a challenge. On a dare, he got me to go to church with him one night. And I thought that I was gonna go into church and stay 15 minutes, you know, and come back out and do what I was doing. Mm -hmm. But God's plan was for me to go into church and stay 48 years. He says he left the gang, the Crips, because God changed his life and told him he would become an artist. Instead of using guns, he gave me paintbrushes. His mother begged him to get what she called a real job. Sold a painting to Derek Thomas for $10,000. And I showed the check to my mom and she said, you got a real job. Next, a historical painting elevated him to a new level. I did a painting celebrating the 50th anniversary of Bloody Sunday in Selma. He met legendary civil rights foot soldiers and the British consulate ambassador, Andrew Young. They became fast friends. It was that connection that led to then Prince Charles hearing of his talent and asking Skipper to do a portrait of the Queen. I'm working on the painting, and the Iron Bowl is on TV. I'm watching Nick Saban's, nobody knows it's the final, his final Iron Bowl. Jalen Miro orchestrates this drive in dramatic, super dramatic form. He, they win the Iron Bowl. He makes this great pass, and they win the Iron Bowl. My phone starts going crazy. Friends and colleagues want him to do a Jalen Milrow painting, so he puts the Queen's painting aside to begin the Milrow painting. The British people are asking, you know, what's your, how soon are you going to be finished and why are you delayed or whatever, and I have to, they have to, I have to explain there's a thing called Alabama football. You do know that you're the first African-American to ever be commissioned by Buckingham Powell, and your painting is going to be a part of the Royal Collection. This is the first time it's ever happened in history. Skipper says God directed his hand on the portrait painstakingly. It took 1,500 hours to complete. And recently, Steve Skipper's portrait was entered into the Royal Collection at the British Embassy in Atlanta with pomp and circumstance. Now he wants to inspire young people to follow their dreams and put hatred behind them. I believe that a lot of the crime we see now are young people who are doesn't have the expression of creativity, so they act out. And so I want to give them that avenue and also kill the stereotype from parents and other people that you can't make a living doing this. Oh, yes, you can. You can not only make a living, you can make a difference. And while wow, his paintings are really impressive. Well, Steve Skipper wants to help young people from underserved areas with fine art scholarships. He is also expected to be in line to be commissioned to do a portrait of King Charles. You can see the entire interview with Skipper on our website, abc3340.com.